Elway was a big part of the Monty Ball pick? Uh, I do. Okay. Big part of the Ronnie Hillman pick? I do. And Matt Russell was the guy who found C.J. Anderson. Okay. Uh, the I scouts think, did. All right. In, in John Elway's defense, and I know a lot of people think I defend him all too often. Okay. In John Elway's defense, I think you have to wait a few years to figure out just how good these draft picks were. I think you need to. Okay. I mean, if Brock Osweiler turns out to be a pretty good quarterback, that was a hell of a pick in the second round. If Ty Sambrello turns out to be a 10-year decent left tackle, it was a hell of a pick in the second round. Let's look at the offensive line. Ryan Harris, free agent. Yes. Oh, oh, he's been so much better in free agent. Free agent. He's he's been ungodly good. Paradis, late round draft pick. Late round draft pick. I get you. But John has been ungodly good in free agency. One Pro Bowl after another, after another, after another. And you know what? All due respect to John Elway, he's got a great sidekick in Peyton Manning where he can say, hey, DeMarcus Ware, you want to finish out your career potentially with Peyton Manning? And DeMarcus is going to say, of course, because Peyton Manning is my quarterback. Do you honestly believe that DeMarcus Ware is coming here without Peyton Manning? Well, no, but who brought Peyton Manning? I get that. (laughs) But how many times are you going to get the opportunity to bring in a Hall of Fame quarterback. Eventually, Peyton Manning is going to be done, so he has to hang his hat on Brock Osweiler. You know, you look at the the free agent quarterbacks who are out there. Yeah, but you're still acting as if Peyton Manning just, like, dropped down from a UFO into Dove Valley. John Elway worked it perfectly and landed one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. And then others followed Peyton Manning here. So why isn't John Elway getting credit for Peyton Manning? John Elway should and does get credit for Peyton Manning. I would agree with you. But let's see what happens and see how many... Basically, he picked the right bait. I would agree. Okay. Okay. You have a Hall of Famer talking to a Hall of Famer. But then let's truly judge John Elway after Peyton Manning is done. He got Peyton Manning, and I think that is great. But as far as his drafts go, rounds one, two, and three have been... Fair They've been sketchy. Best. They've been sketchy. No and doubt about it. the players who have performed the best have been free agents in guys rounds four through seven. And I'm sorry, but those are scout picks and certainly undrafted free agents. I, I still think it's early. I mean, always in his fourth year. And, and the fact of the matter is, in that job, you're judged every year. The judging never ends, right? I agree. So, well, so we're, we're going to have to look back when John is done, whenever that might be. It might be five years down the road, ten years down the road. We're going to have to look back then and judge just how good he was. It's hard to do it as we're in the process because it does take some players a longer time to develop. Did people? Did, did you say people accuse you of defending on John Elway? Yes. No. I didn't sense that Does at a all. pretty damn good job. He's pretty easy to defend. He's yeah. very easy to defend in terms of the free agency. You want to know the funny in. thing? He thought I was too critical of him when he was a player. Hmm.